Come on. I feel, I really feel great. I mean, well, before the operation, I could only walk up maybe 100 feet and I had to go back in the house. Now I can walk pretty much two miles every morning. In fact, they marvel at me at the gym that I'm able to do what I can do there. I'm kind of an inspiration for a lot of people at the gym. <laughs> My name is Greg Spadaro. Um, this is my father, Jack Spadaro. We are from Connecticut. We moved down here. For me, it's been about 20 years. I think my father's been down here a good 24 years now. And uh, we've been two individuals that have kind of suffered with back pain and problems for a good portion of our lives. My situation started back in 1964. I had uh, an injury bowling in uh, it's not a, not a serious injury, but someone at the time recommended me going to a chiropractor at that time. And uh, I went to this guy and I went to see him and he uh, ended up uh, rupturing my disc. It was the first operation. It was a neurosurgeon in Hartford, Connecticut named Dr. Scoville. And he did an excellent job. And for years after that, I was fine until I got here in Florida again and my back problem started again. But uh, we went up to uh, Tampa. I had several uh, laser surgeries done, which actually only aggravated my situation. And then locally, we had a neurosurgeon here that uh, became well, well uh, respected as, as, as an excellent surgeon, and he operated on me twice. And my situation only got worse. Uh, I, had, I was bent over with the pain in my left side for a long time, almost two years. And then I heard my son telling me about uh, Dr. Duke. And uh, so I ended up going up to see Dr. Duke and explained my situation to him, how I, I was uh, in such pain and such. And he, he took an x-ray and evaluated me and he showed me on the x-ray how my operation actually had come apart. The diffusion that they, they did locally here was, had come apart and it would be, the nerve was being impinged on by the, uh, the bone. So um, he recommended to me that, he, that we needed to be operated on and he told me what he was going to do and how he was going to do it and that, uh, that he felt he could help me. He was so convincing and I was so desperate at that point because of the pain I was in that, that I had ended up going ahead and, and we did the operation. He did uh, S, L2 to S, S, S1. So four levels. And it was a major operation. And uh, thank God, uh, thank Dr. Duke that he gave my lifestyle back again because from the, from the moment after we came, we came out of the, uh, the uh, recovery room, I was able to stand straight. I told my, even that time, even though I was still under anesthesia, I said, I could feel I'm standing straight with no pain. He even made me dance a little bit at that point in time, you know, which was kind of funny, you know. But uh, I've never, I, outside of the, uh, I've never taken any pain pills. I mean, it's amazing with the kind of pain that I had originally. That after the operation, it was totally gone. And, uh, so from my standpoint, my lifestyle is back. I stand straight, I have no pain. I go to the gym twice a week. I walk every day. And there's very few things that I can't do at this point in time, especially at 80 years old. I'm very proud to say that. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't stand and hold him like this before the operation. Come on. I feel, I really feel great. I mean, well, before the operation, I can only walk up maybe 100 feet, and I had to go back in the house. Now I could walk pretty much two miles every morning. In fact, they marvel at me at the gym that I'm able to do what I can do there. I'm kind of an inspiration for a lot of people at the gym. <laughs> I still do all the, all the maintenance of the house myself. I do the lawn, fertilize, I, do, I trim the bushes, I do the pool, uh, I, I do pretty much everything. The fact that I can do this now is, is unbelievable. I couldn't walk, I couldn't lift a finger until, uh, until I had the operation. 
It's easy to recommend to Dr. Duke and his staff up there because they're professional in every stance of the word. Uh, my operation, as I say, it, it was a big operation. And uh, as far as pain medicine, I, I didn't have to take any pain medicine after, after the operation, which was significant because I'm allergic to pain medicine, which causes other problems for me. So I would recommend Dr. Duke and his staff uh, without reservation.